Right, in this video, uh, I've got a problem with the boiler at home. And uh, it's a Valiant. Valiant, I uh, can't remember the exact name. Valiant, something, something, Ecotech Plus. Uh, one of these bastards. Um, lot, lots of issues it could have been. There's a magnetic trap for crap. I did that. I haven't done, undid that, done that for years. I uh, never have really. It's clogged up black crap. So I've got rid of all that. Wasn't that. Above that is the pump. There's me shining up. There it is. Put my hand on it, it was running. Lots of, you know, lots of problems. Lots of thinking, what on earth could it be? Change the wall thermostat on the wall. In the end, came down to this baby here that I think it is it's the actuator that sits on here if it flips one way if it's in the middle so called uh, of that valve there I'm gonna get real close if, it's, if the valve apparently is in the middle and I, I let me tell you something it, there's not a lot of difference between middle left and right it's a three-way valve it's a tiny little tiny little difference uh, I checked it with this thing here, the act, the actu actuator that fits on top of it. This doesn't move very much, and it's this thing here that gave me the issues. Because if you actually, if you go full, if you kind of, oh, it's hard to see. If you look in there, right in there, that hole there, that's meant to be left. And if you see what I just did there, if you kind of push that in, it locks in the middle, and then that's meant to be right. And there's hardly any movement there, but that's enough to turn that. Now, this was the thing that was buggered because this tiny little plastic lug, tiny little plastic lug here hold a little tiny spring here and there's a whole point to me saying all this um, let's see in a minute hold this spring in and it kind of held this arm back so I'm in awkward position otherwise I'll show you much more clearly that arm there was held by that spring and that little plastic lug was there in there well, anyway that cracked Blew out, and it, you know, that's going to give it force to put it this way. You know, what, what, it's very complicated, too complicated for my liking. But now, I'm what I'm going to try and do is hacksaw, hacksaw screw off, and then you know, put a nut on it and hold the spring in that way because the plastic lug is no more. Right, I hope you. I hope this comes out, it's going to be quite difficult to see. Um, I can't move the camera any closer, it's okay. Let me zoom out Plastic lug. Bits in. See that hole there, that hole there. And then I'm just, I'm just kind of pointing behind it. Snapped off. The spring sat there, this little spring, when I opened the box up this flew out, it's just because that means it must have already snapped. Somehow this mechanism, look at it, come at an angle, now here is apparently left, you know, control water, water, both or central heating, so that would be hot water. Now if I move that down there like that, with that kind of thing poking out still. See that, it's hardly changed at all, right? Hardly changed, and that's meant to be both. Now here, if I push that in, push it in like that. Hardly changes, right? And I thought there's something wrong with this thing to begin with. I get a twisting out, oh, there's something wrong with this, but it's actually Moving through, I kept moving it to uh, clockwise a lot 
you know, using a pair of pliers, and I thought, it's not moving. But in fact, if you look at the actual, that's all it goes. Now, the top tip I'm going to give you is something like this. I don't know if you're probably seasickness from watching this, uh, me wobbling around. The top tip I'm going to give, no, don't, uh, don't hit the uh, off button or next video button until you get my top tip. Is make sure and this is relevant in, relevant in my car videos as well. A similar thing. This top tip will help you fix cars as well. Notice the spring is bloody tiny, right? I'm gonna have to stretch that over my final man-made lug, right? So bloody light on this shit, right? This is a six-piece pick and tool set. Notice that one there, that one there, that one there. That is essential for things like. You know, imagine it was a big car spring, it's one that you're doing a brake job. You're pulling, uh, there's that horrible bloody spring, that, like a piece of metal, uh, metal bent around and it's got to go into the uh, hot one hole and you're braking and it's got to go in the other hole. Make sure you have this set at all. And also, second top tip, because pair of pliers will not do. This is not going to be very easy visible. What oh, bloody pain. Right. What have I got here? I've got a piece of nylon, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap that kind of around the spring a little bit, right? If that goes flying off, guess what? I'm going to catch it. I'm going to find it, I mean, yeah? If you do know that, even though it's in, in the case there, it could go anywhere. you never find it. So, that's my really top, top tip. Use a tool, two top tips. Use a tool to stretch it across. Don't use a pair of pliers. Same with cars. And if it was a, like a car spring on a flaming brake or something, right? Tie a ribbon on it. So when it flies off, and it will fly off, believe me, you know, you've got 20% chance of the thing flying off. When it flies off, you'll lose it in it somewhere. So tie a ribbon on it. Once you've got it on, take the ribbon off if it's in the car. All right, so I know it's a bit, this video is a bit kind of wobbly and shaky, but please uh, hit the like and subscribe button. You know, I, I, I go through all my problems, so uh, to help you guys out, especially if there's top tips like this. Right, thanks. Thanks for watching. Right, this, is, this video is about fixing my boiler and uh, luckily the bit where the flame boils and, and heats the water through the heat exchanger is not leaking that's the main thing what is broken is and you'll see later on my actual trying to attempt to uh, fix it and try and diagnose it this is like an after kind of bit that I'm showing first which is the actuator is this actuator here. Uh, the new ones are called Drayton, the old ones are called iFlow, and the old ones you'll see, which is about 10 years old, is an iFlow one, but near enough the same way. Now, same thing, I mean. Mid position actuator, which means when that button is in the middle, it's hot water, I think this is central heating that way, and um, this way is hot water, and this is the inlet. With it's this way, yeah, W, if it's flipped over here, that means the water goes this way. And I'll, and I'll check that later on after I show you my attempts at fixing it or diagnosing it. Remember, I am freezing my, freezing my Neverlands uh, regions out. It's really cold and uh, forgive me, I'm stuttering or not really uh, compassmentous. But if this lever is that way. Uh, the water will flow through here and then through there to your central heat. So if it's in the middle, it's both. Right, so how did I come to a diagnosis of this? You should see in a minute. And also, right at the end of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this is dismantled. And I'll show you um, basically my proof of uh, it's not the valve that is broken. But it's this and also 
also I may not have been 100% um, conclusive but actually the box on the wall I consider is broken as well and I'll show you the box on the wall and the end of the video I'll show you what I mean what I think how I can came to the conclusion that it's broken right okay so let's go and let's go and see me diagnose the uh, issue right so a little bit confusing remember I was yesterday I was really really cold and um, now now I've botched it what I've done is on the boiler I've this doesn't work anymore right uh, it didn't work in it because it snapped off. I, I did my very best and I built a something to catch the spring and I you know, everything, you know, I thought maybe perhaps if the spring was had something to catch against and it was pulling tension on the lever arm that it would uh, be okay but no it didn't something was really wrong with this thing so I've had to buy a new one and like I said it's this is the configuration of it and I'm pretty sure it's the same one um, so it's a mid position actuator right so what I did was I knew that was broken so I knew this this wasn't working on the wall anymore so I set it to mi middle the middle of the valve it, it, it I couldn't as much as I could I couldn't get it to turn to the central heating only uh, not 100% sure why um, I thought maybe the strength of this going would turn it that way because it's spring loaded right the thing is if the wall unit so I know this is broken physically and everything about it but I thought this is broken as well and, and if you look this is very similar to the one I'm, I'm going to take off the wall in a minute I haven't taken it off it's still in the box it's got the water advance heating so if you press that button there once you've got it on the time setting of your choosing once you do that you give it extra an extra boost until the next setting the next time setting uh, we'll switch it off same with the hot water, if you felt, oh, I'm going to have a bath now, I'm not going to wait, press that, you know, half an hour later, have a bath. Um, Why well, I think it's this, as well, is because I'm getting hot water. When the timer for the hot water comes on, it switches on the hot water, right? So, the boiler only knows to switch on or off. Simple as that. This thing here controls which where you get central heating or not right uh, or hot water or both right this thing is the thing that turns on the the heating and turns off the hot water if that's okay in the boil if the function of the boiler is on or off right and, and, and I'm no expert but I think that's that's how it is although on the boiler if you look on the panel is it, there's like a central heating sign uh, yeah, it, it, this is telling it to. This is it's, it, it's thinking it's centering, it's thinking it's water, but it's not actually doing it. It's not actually. It's not actually sending a signal to this thing here, which is also which was broken, right? So, likelihood is it's both, but it, it could very well be this thing here. It's just not picking up. You know, it's just not advancing the arm when this is sending the signal out. It could be. It could be. Um, so the the cheap fix will be. If this is this is from Screwfix, fifty nine pounds. That's about fifty nine pounds. This is actually cheaper buying the whole couple rather than um, that alone. It's very funny enough. Two of them together is cheaper, right? At Screwfix, and I'll put the description below. So, all right, the clever thing, the smart thing to do. I always thought this was a bit busted, right? To be honest, I never did what I really wanted to do. The smart thing to do is swap that one only and see if it works. See if it fixes the issue and leave that one on the wall true and then go back and take the money so really I should do that but I don't want to I want to change it because as, as an engineer you get a feel for things that are busted you just got a feel for it you, know, you got to know you just get a feeling for it and I you know I got a feeling that thing on the wall is broken but we'll, should we just do it the logical way should we just change this only change this only see if it fixes it see if when this what well, when this uh, switches it says okay boiler only would it flip the switch over to heating only so that and then I could go and take this money this back and get my whatever money back is 59 pound whatever right now as I said the interesting bit take this off it's just a simple I've got loads of light now it's a simple catch at the bottom press that and it just pops out see that them two lugs fitting in these two lug uh, the holes there 
and this little thing here is just just fits in there. See, man, it's in that clip, that black plastic clip, just clips on top. You push it in enough, that's it. That's it. That's the whole thing. Really, really good design. So you can some, you know, I could have bought a cheaper one, but I didn't like the look of them. It didn't look hot, you know. It will that would not have fitted this on there because I know this fits this and this will fit the one on the on the on the on the system where it's the same thing. Right, so the the interesting thing is yesterday I wasn't sure whether or not how far I could turn this, remember? So that full clockwise is there. Full anti clockwise is there. And it's and it's pretty much the same. Yes it is the same. It's not quite vertical, as you see it? Not quite vertical, it's all the way to the right. And not quite, uh, well, so it's hardly even 10 degrees, whatever, 20 degrees. Now, look, so I've got that all the way over. Now, I'm going to get this the right way around. This is, I'm looking at the top of it. So, this is the top of it. So, in theory, I think when this is over this way, it's all hot, uh, all central heating because the central heating, according to this, is on the left, right? So that's pulled over here, it should come right, so we'll turn it around without moving that. Should we turn it around? Right, yes, we can see that. See that? In there, that, the hot water's blocked off and it's just gonna go to the right, which is this pipe. Right, so, all the way over that way, right? So all the way to the clock, clockwise. Yes, so now, look in there, hot water only. Right, so now I'm just going to, I don't know where it is, I can't really see it, but I'm going to move it to his midway. So I've just moved it midway. You can see, get the light bit on it a bit more. Midway, see that? That's midway, yeah? I'll turn it around where it is. Alright, so it's just there. So a bit more, so tiny bit more. Hot, hot water. Midway's only about there. And that is so that way is central heating. With the light is catching it. And that way is hot water. Simple as that. It, tiny movement is really, really good. And so it is moving freely. I'm not gonna take it off, of course. So let's do it the logical way, but I'm not I'm not gonna end this video here. I'm just going to install that on the wall, see if my instincts are right, which I, because I think this is broken as well. Two things. Right. Let's, I'll just before I'll put it on. I'm not. Even, I'm not even going to um, do anything like um, uh, you know, do it as you watch me. Watch me. In fact, let me just say, let me get a qualified person to put that on first. No, I am actually qualified. I'm a qualified engineer. Let me put that on, and since it's got nothing to do with gas, I can put it on. I'm a qualified engineer. No worries. Okay. Let's... Right, so, has been fixed. Notice the levers away to the left there with a uh, heater. Right here, and I've got the heating on. And uh, if I press the button for both, lever moves across here and that side kind of manual lever uh, that manual lever is when when uh, I think when this fails and it allows you to move it sometimes when the power's on you can't move that because the power's on so it kind of redundant really but is that that lever there tells you it's working or well, I can switch that off all right see that that side kind of manual lever moves. I don't really know what you do with that, it's just pretty rubbish really that thing. You can always take it off like I did and just turn it by hand. Right, so let's just have Alright, please hit the like and subscribe button if you're not already subscribing. If you are subscribed, thanks for always watching my videos, much appreciated. Any comments, uh, if someone's there, you know, not rude or anything. I'll we'll try and answer them and uh, appreciate watching. Uh, see you next time. Back to cars soon. Lots of jobs doing a car.